Whirlpool Whisper Medium Tower Air Purifier Review. Today I'm taking a deeper look at the Whirlpool Whisper Air Purifier and why I chose this particular air purifier over the others. Usually you think of Whirlpool for things like refrigerators and appliances, but they make air purifiers too. And in this video, I'll share the research that went into my pick and what I think of it so far. If you're new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Be sure to subscribe for more cleaning tips and reviews. Another call don't fade. We never seem to get it right. When you first get your air purifier out of the box, it's ready to go. There's nothing to take out. Sometimes air purifiers come with a plastic cover on the HEPA filter or one of the filters and you have to take that off before you can even start it. And so I thought that was the problem because when I pushed power, I thought it went off. I'm like, oh no, it's broken. And I wondered if I needed to put the timer on or something else. but really what happened it's just that the lowest setting is so low that you can hardly tell it's doing anything and i can feel that it is but that's going to purify your air so much slower and then you can turn it up so if you want to turn it up you do the fan speed now i'm going to put it on medium okay so you can hear that a lot more it's kind of a wind a, a breeze sound and i can definitely feel that the fan is a lot higher and then if you want to go even higher, you can go to the highest speed. See, that's a lot more noisy. I don't mind it being noisier because I like the white noise when I sleep. But during the day, I probably won't run it that high. Now it does have a child lock. And if you want to do that, hold this for 13 seconds, the sleep mode. Okay, now it is on child lock at this point. And it's kind of confusing because it says sleep mode but it actually locks it so your kids can't come and play with this and change it it's locked in there so if you want to unlock it you just hold that again and there we go okay you have a timer okay and these are going to tell you when it's time to change your filters. It's a good looking air purifier. I like that about it. It's a tower one, so it takes up less space next to your bed or where we're going to put it. What attracted me to it because it's, it's actually pretty compact, but it is for a smaller room. So if you need a bigger room, I'll put a link to this one and one for a, a larger room too in the video description below. Now to show you the back, it has this, I love this, it's like the handle, it makes it easier to carry, but it's not very heavy. And then this is where you can, you have to turn off the power first, <laughs> and this is where you can take out and change the filter. It's actually really accessible and easy. So there's your filter, mine is brand new. So there's nothing on it, but it's kind of like your air filter in your car. So this has to be changed out, but it's, they made it very easy to do that. Even one-handed, that's pretty easy. Now, if you have pets, like I have this little teddy, then air purifier is great because it's going to help keep the dander and the pet hair down. If you have allergies like my husband does, that's gonna be really important to you. We always had an air purifier in our bedroom to help us sleep better, but since we got the cat, it's even more important to us. I wanna demonstrate the nightlight feature. So that's regular. And then if you turn it to night, then it goes down. It's just, it doesn't turn totally off. Just makes it less bright. Why do you need an air purifier? I've had an air purifier in my house for years. We usually keep it in the bedroom, but then we move it around to the kitchen or the living room when someone's sick. Here are the top two things that should convince you to buy an air purifier. One, viruses and getting sick. There are viruses circulating in the air or living with COVID right now, and an air purifier can help keep you from getting sick. Two, wildfires. There's big ones in California, Oregon, and Colorado this summer that polluted the air and made it really hard to breathe. Wildfires and bad air quality are more common in the world today. Where I live, we have wildfires every summer and inversions every winter. Plus, we got a cat this year and I want to keep the smells and allergies down. And last, cooking smells can make my house smell terrible and I want to clean those out. Recently, experts from the Healthy Buildings Program at Harvard School of Public Health recommended using air purifiers to keep schools safe during COVID. It's because these machines filter and continuously clean airborne particles from a space, reducing the number of germs and viruses in the air. Even without wildfires or a pandemic, the air 
we breathe indoors is far more polluted than the air outdoors. The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, warns indoor levels of pollutants may be two to five times and occasionally more than 100 times higher than they are outside. Most of us spend a lot more time indoors for our jobs right now. So according to the researchers, there are some things that you need to look at before you buy an air purifier. One is a true HEPA filter. This one says that it captures 99.97% of dust and allergens as small as 0.3 microns in size. This includes things like dust around the house, pet dander, mold, and plant pollen. The researchers created this spreadsheet showing the air purifiers that one school district narrowed down and considered for their friend in their school. And that's what I looked at. You'll find a link to their study and the list in the video description below, plus to the air purifiers that I mentioned in this video. One quick rule of thumb for choosing an portable air purifier. One, look for an air purifier with a HEPA filter. Two, look for a high clean air delivery rate. Three, avoid add-ons like ionizers or ultraviolet lights. A clean air delivery rate, or the CADR, is how many cubic feet of air per minute that it can clean. Anything above a five is excellent, and this pure air purifier is rated at a 4.9, which is really good. Some of the air purifiers on the list were quite expensive. One was almost $800. This air purifier was a much more reasonably priced one that met their standards well. It was around $100, and I actually found the best price for it on Amazon. Another air purifier that made the list that I actually own is called Conway. We have one in my daughter's room that I absolutely love because it has extra features that help her fall asleep. Like they have music or white noise with a volume control and a timer on the sounds and the purifier so it turns off for you automatically. It has fan speeds in three modes and plus it looks nice, kind of like a giant iPod. Just want to show you the speeds. So that is speed one. You can hear it a little bit. Two, three. So three is pretty loud. Let's go back down to one. Okay, and then you have the timer. This is so crucial to have the timer. So you can do one hour, four hours, or eight hours. And that makes it so that you don't run this all the time. Because I don't know about you, but we always forget to turn it off. This is where it's really cool. We have the sounds, so the music. Okay, so that's like rain. I love that you can control the volume. The cat loves this thing too. And you have a separate timer just for the sounds. So 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. And the thing is, my daughter loves some of these sounds to fall asleep to. So I'll usually put it on for 15 minutes or 30. I've never gone for, for a full hour. That's the ocean. crickets. Okay, and then this is the one she loves, the lullaby by Schubert. And then the Brahms lullaby, the classic one. And then white noise. Oh, this is actually a Whirlpool review, but I'm showing you this one because it is on the list and because we happen to have it and we really totally love it. I should do a full review on this one. You don't have, you can also run the music and sounds by themselves. So this is like a sound machine with an air purifier. So if you have younger kids, I highly recommend this one. Look in the video description for a link to both air purifiers. Consider that your air purifier is like buying a printer. It's not just the cost of the printer that you need to look at, but the ink that you need to refill. Likewise, with an air purifier, you've got to consider how much a filter costs and how often you're going to need to change it. The HEPA filters are around $40 to replace and the pre-filter with charcoal is around 30. This air purifier has two filters. What about for the size? This air purifier is for a smaller room, about 120 square feet. If one isn't enough to cover the size of your room, they suggest buying two. The Whirlpool Whisper comes with a five-year limited warranty. What I liked from using it, besides that it made the list of air purifiers that the researchers like, is that it looks nice with this tower design. It comes in two colors, either black or white, and I really like the sleekness of the white. It doesn't take up a lot of space in your room, it's super silent, and it's reasonably priced. Do you have any questions or comments about the Whirlpool air purifier? Leave them in the comments. And share this 
video with anyone who is considering buying an air purifier so they do their research first and get an air purifier that will be effective for what they need it for. I'm going to link to my next video, which is about the Venta air washer. I've had mine for several years. It's an air purifier, humidifier, and diffuser in one. And the reason I think that's also important is because studies have shown that flu germs survive and spread more easily when it's dry. So boosting your indoor air humidity makes it less likely for germs to survive and transmit to those around you. So if you live in a dry climate like we do, it's something you should check out. And I love how you can add scents to the water and makes your house smell so good. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in that video.